Welcome back. It's your partner, Hemi Amir. So, I haven't done a Mopar Monday video or any videos in a while. Um, been busy. Classes, work. It, it, it's keeping me extremely busy. Busier than I want to be. Um, so, the reason why I'm, I'm on here right now is because... This is my laptop. My laptop of 12 years decided to shit. So, I have a topic. My partner told me to uh, go ahead and talk about this, so that's exactly what I'm gonna do. So, we're gonna call this uh, 2A2. Day <laughs> that was lame, but but I don't care because I'm too legit to quit. <laughs> oh, that was so stupid. <laughs> anyway, um, the reason why I wanted to talk about this, and the reason why I brought it up on um, IG, and my partner wanted me to talk about this, is because I saw a video of a guy that's supposed to be 2A, and he was at Lenny Small. Uh, Lenny's Mall is uh, pretty much one of the, the, the it's like the, one of the most famous malls in Georgia other than Greenbrier and Mall of Georgia, you know, uh, everybody knows about, you know, that and West End, all right, when you hear Atlanta, these are the malls you think of, um, but Lenny's Mall has been uh, basically trying to trample on people's rights, um, uh, Yes, trample. Um, what they... I'm doing a lot of arms. So, this guy was... You know, let me explain what Linux Mall was doing first. So, Linux Mall has been trying to... Um, basically tell people that they don't have the right to carry or ban weapons carry on their property. Which is their right. They can do that. Um, but... The way, that, the way that they're doing it and how they're doing it is you you basically are messing with people's rights um, so this let me tell you what this guy said because it's important so he's walking around the mall of course he's unarmed and um, and he says he wrote, he wrote in his comment um I don't feel safe here, but I don't want to get arrested. Now, let me explain. So, since the Linux Mall has started this um, weapons ban, they've had they got signs up that says "No weapons concealed or otherwise up." Right? You can ignore that in the state of Georgia. Those signs are not law. All right, you can walk in there if you want to. Period. If they find out you have a weapon, the only thing they can do is escort you off the property. Uh, Lenny Small has um, those metal detectors in certain places, just don't walk through it. You know, if you do walk through it, so what? The only thing they can do is, you know, if they search you. you why are they searching you? You know what I mean? They don't have the legal right to search you. Uh, even police officers, you know what I mean? In the state of Georgia, in the state of Georgia, there was a a, a bill passed like maybe five years ago that says an officer cannot ask you if uh, about your um, about your um, what how, I'm trying to word this the right way your status uh, when you're carrying a weapon if they see you carrying a weapon basically you know so you know unless you've broken the law that's the only time they can ask you walking on walking in Lenny's Mall with the weapon is not breaking the law um what else he said he didn't want to be arrested you cannot get arrested. The only thing they can ask you to do is leave the property. 
if they if they say they're gonna ban you so what all right in order to ban you they have to get your name and to get your name you have to refuse to leave the property and they'll trespass you just leave if they want to ban if they want to get your name refuse just leave the property they can't arrest you if they do arrest you you have a, a lawsuit against APD and guess what they're not going to do they're not going to risk a lawsuit mm-mm, mm-mm. they got enough trouble they got enough they got, they got enough shit going on alright um, so with that being said let's talk about the places that you really cannot carry in the state of Georgia in the state of Georgia the laws are so clear when it comes to weapons carry that's the easiest thing you can read when it comes to um Oh, when it comes to the uh, official code of Georgia, OCGA, there's nothing simpler. Traffic laws, <laughs> uh, 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 property law, you know, stuff like that. So, I'm sorry, you missed it. So, the three places, and a uh, four is kind of iffy, but the three places that you cannot carry in the state of Georgia federal buildings alright federal buildings if you don't know what a federal building is is the federal courthouse the the post office and um, I can't I really can't think of another one right now uh, treasury I guess um and, um I don't know. Is there FBI building in the state of Georgia? I don't know. Um, the second one, federal parks. Like, the parks that are man- maintained by the federal, uh, by the U.S. Uh, Army of Army Army of Engineers thing. I, I'm probably wording that wrong. But the U.S. Army of Engineers and um federal wildlife people you know those parts all right you can carry on state parts yes but federal parks you can't all right federal wildlife reserves and stuff like that all right um and the last one government buildings that have security like the sheriffs or police officers um that have checkpoints in, at the buildings. So basically, like courthouses and police departments, sheriff's departments. Now, here's the tricky thing you can carry inside of a police department, sheriff's department, up to a point, okay? Uh, most sheriff's departments are usually where the jails are at, so they're not gonna let you in. But police departments, they usually have a lobby and you can carry in there, but you can't go past the. Uh, the uh, secured area all right and the fourth one that's kind of tricky churches now the thing is you can carry in churches with the permission of your pastor or uh, whatever you the other religions call you know the guy that sells you a drink <laughs> don't take offense please <laughs> Uh, but I will tell you some places that you could carry and that you probably didn't know you can carry in bars yes you can carry in bars it's legal in the state of Georgia you can carry on college campuses yes it's legal in the state of Georgia it's called uh, campus carry that one was um, approved about four or five years ago also um you can actually carry on school property like elementary school middle schools high school to pick up and drop off kids all right probably not smart to go inside the building but if you're outside picking up dropping off it's legal all right and another place you can carry lennox mall Linux motherfucking mall. It's legal. Now, 
like I said before, it's all about, you know, doing things the right way. All right. Of course, Lenny's mom has their issues, but the way they're doing things is wrong. All right. You can carry at work if you want to. All right. If you don't have metal detectors at your job, you can carry at work as long as, listen, all this, make, you can do all this as long as you have your Georgia weapons carry license. All right. And today, which is the 28th of February, the Senate in the state of Georgia just approved a bill for constitutional carry. All right. It has to go to the House. And I'm positive it's going to get approved. Well, mostly positive. All right. And I, I, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm sort of on the limb of the, I mean, I want it to be approved. But at the same time, when I travel to different states, you know, how would I be able to carry in different states? You see what I'm saying? That's pretty much my only issue with that. And before anybody says anything, well, it, it allows criminals to carry. Criminals are already carrying. All right. You think they're going to the courthouse and filing, you know, the paperwork to 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 get their Georgia weapons carry license? <laughs> New, no. especially if they're a felon. No. Come on, guys. Let's, let's let's just make sense of things. All right. Um, I just wanted to, you know, I'm glad my partner um, told me to do this video. I will. Uh, it, I will have more answers for you if you have any questions. I could post post more two A videos. I think I'm gonna do that. I won't be showing any weapons because I want to get monetized. But if you have any questions, like, comment, share, subscribe. You know. Leave a comment in there, and I'll get back to you. I'll give you the best answer that I uh, that I'm that I can give you. All right, all right. With that being said, you already know what it is. As you were real quick before I go ahead and get all the way off this thing. Uh, if you um, go to a place that has a no weapon sign. Uh, you can ignore it. The only place you need to pay attention to that is, like I said, federal buildings, federal um, parks, and state and city municipals, uh, you know, security checkpoints, place, uh, you know, buildings. All right. So if they, if you walk some, if you go someplace in the state of Georgia and they have a no weapons uh, concealed or otherwise sign, you can ignore that because that is not law in the state of Georgia. So I just wanted to give you guys a quick uh, postscript real fast. All right, you already know what it is. As <laughs> you were.